Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Grace Speaking, Agumwa Nyoma, Agumwa Biafra. So I just want to talk about the um, comments that my bishop, David Onyedeko, has made that is causing a lot of um, controversy on Facebook. You know, people are seeing it as a wrong thing or seeing it as a way to beg for money. No, he, he has never come to beg for money. So I want to speak briefly on the issues of tithe because he made it clear that um giving giving um doing arms or giving to people um should not stop you from paying your tithe um because if you continue to do that um you will end poor you know um that you're giving to people and you are not paying your tithe um does not make sense so um before i continue i would um um i would plead with you to um subscribe to this channel like this video and share this video so um speaking about what he has said i think so many people who really don't believe they believe it um believe the bible and what the bible is saying might misunderstand or have misunderstood him you understand and um they felt like it's a way to um you know force people or to deceive people to do what is not right hence it is biblical um i don't see anything wrong from what he has said i don't i don't see anything wrong from what my bishop david onyedeko have said and i am not here to support him because i want people to start contributing to the church i think giving is the thing of the mind so no matter how long or how how high he echoed it and would not um would not force people to do it if they don't want to but he is just trying to make a point that you should digest into your system whether you accept it or not that is the truth he is not trying to beg you for money he is not trying to lure you into doing what is not right and you must not pay your tithe because bishop have said pay your tithe you understand so when you're doing it and it's not from your heart or from your heart that is it you are not getting the result you understand giving to the poor is quite different even the bible um, um, recognizes it and the bible supports you supporting the poor people because obviously everybody was not born to be rich giving started from uh, from um, base memoria it's been a, a thing of the of the old so it, 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 it didn't start today and it's never going to end today because, you know, some people we are born to be poor. Some people we are born to be rich and some we are born to be super rich. So, but you don't say because I have given to the poor, that is the reason not to pay my tithe. When you pay your tithe, you are obeying God's word and you, you, you are, you are, I mean, sowing the seed um of of life the seed of uh, to 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 open your doors it, it's not um it has nothing to do with what you know a, a pressure or persuasion he is not trying to put pressure on you he is not trying to persuade you into doing it it is biblical and so, because some people don't understand it he has come in his own terms to explain it in a way that people will understand that this is what is supposed to be done you understand? Um, I'm not here to say you must give your tithe. But for people who are condemning him for saying that, sorry, um, you must, maybe you don't understand um, much. It, it takes, it takes um, the spiritual to, to, to assess the spiritual. You know, if you, if you are not, if you're not, if you're not in the spirit and you don't ask God to, to, to open the, your spiritual eyes to understand what he actually meant, that is why you cannot understand what he meant. But for me, he is completely right. Because you, what you, sometimes you see that most pastors, I mean, most rich men, it is either they just develop cancer or their wife developed cancer or their child. And that is it. They will, I have seen most prominent men, rich people in our place, you know, because when they are rich, they don't care. They live a flamboyant life. They do whatever they want to do. They don't, they don't pay tight. And suddenly sickness will just come because that is what the Bible says. Sickness will come and take all, everything that you've got. 
and you will not have even time to to to, to fix what you have what, what what you have messed up in the past so that is that is how it is that you are giving to the poor you don't even know the poor you are giving to whether the poor is using your money against you the poor you are giving to what do you know whether they are costing your money but when you give straight to god well, excuse me whatever money you dropped in that altar you you, are, you have consecrated it it's like a sacrifice unto god you can never go down you understand i have seen testimonies of people you know who say that they because of um um, the, 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 the problem they encountered, they felt like, God, if it will take me to just give everything I have for tithe or for offering, I just want, I just want your, your visitation in this, in this aspect or in that aspect. And they just got their, um, their miracle and God did it for them because you have touched the heart of the gods. You, why do you think that people goes to, goes to the river to do sacrifice or whatever? If you don't pay your tithe, you are blocking your ways to prosperity, to, for endless prosperity. You are blocking it. You are sowing that seed for not only for your, 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 yourself, you, your generation to come and your third, fourth, fifth, tenth generation to come. That is what you are doing. So please, I want to advise people who are condemning his um, statements to please refrain. Refrain, it is not right because um, he is a man of God. He's an anointed man of God. Yes, you don't ever come out and talk anything because you are you're creating sin against the Holy Spirit, which is unforgiving. So I pray that God will have mercy on all of you and God will see you all through. He is not begging you. He did not call your name and say, pay your tithe. He has just made, he has just spoken according to the direction of the Holy Spirit. So it is up to you to accept it or to ignore it. But coming out to, 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 to lash at him, to lambast him, does not really make sense because you are creating sin. So if you don't want to get involved with, uh, with, with whatever he has said, why don't you just be on your own and, you know, forget about it? Thank you all for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to share this video. May God bless you. The grace.